So let's say you're in a position where agents want to finance their own leads. Uh, let's talk about some different options here. So first of all, um, how do you sell an agent on self-pay? This is kind of the $64,000 question that a lot of you will experience. What I have found is that agents who have a background in entrepreneurship are more open-minded open -minded to the concept of, of paying for their own way. Again, if you are an entrepreneur or formerly an entrepreneur, it's likely that you had to buy advertising in order to promote your business, to get the traffic in, and to eventually convert it. So if you got an agent that has that experience, you're going to want to try to hire that particular type of guy because they're going to be the ones that are going to be more open-minded to self-paying. Again, keep in mind how much of the population are actually entrepreneurs, 5% or less. There's a lot of people who say they're entrepreneurs, but the truth is, is that they can't manage their money well. So if you're looking for these kind of agents, try to find people with indications of already proving that they have experience uh, paying their way in order to make a living. Again, salespeople, entrepreneurs, independent contractors, all would fit the bill. And yeah, the other thing you can do too, this helps as well, I do this in my agency, is to have different price points on your availability of leads. Um, I've played around with this over time. I've arrived at pretty much three different options. Since it's a big deal for me to have agents have skin in the game, meaning they've got to have an investment, for me to take them on. I, I don't care so much what leads they use as long as they have an investment personally. I find that that's motivating enough to get people out there and working. So what are those? So for example, uh, my ultimate goal is to get somebody on direct mail for final expense if we're looking at that. And that's the highest price point, a couple thousand dollars a month. If, if an agent can't do that, then our next step or our step down, which fits, uh, helps a lot of agents out, our Facebook leads. I have a price point in mind that it's $15 a lead. I can get a guy working part-time at a $1,200 a month investment on those. We're working 20 leads a week. And there's no cash upfront money to get those leads. They get them pretty quickly after they order. So that's incredibly helpful. And then my last option for a one-time payment of $300, which I'll refund back to them, I have a seminar marketing program and I teach them how to do seminar marketing, go out, see the people, enroll people who are interested in life insurance or final expense. So I've covered the gamut on agents. Again, the moral of the story for me, the fundamental is I believe in investment. And if you don't want to invest in yourself, you're not serious. So I don't care so much as what they invest in. Ultimately, I want them on direct mail. But if they have any kind of investment, it's better than no investment. So Consider having multiple options on your price points on leads. If you do something other than final expense, let me know. I'll be happy to coach you on some different ideas and strategies that you can employ. Okay, so salespeople versus business owner, why some sales agents work best when someone foots the lead bill. I just think that most people who are selling are used to having the primary and exclusive role of salesmanship. Again, what you see with a lot of corporate entities is that they don't necessarily um, force the agent to foot the bill on procurement or advertising. Instead, they make the agent focus on what they do best, which is talk to people and close them. And so this is a fundamental strategy. Again, not all of us are good business owners. Some of us are, some of us aren't. But there's a lot of really good salespeople that maybe aren't the best with their money, right? And they can't manage it very well. So if you force them into a business owner capacity, you may find that they're going to be uh, ill-performing when well, they could do a lot better if you managed it for them. So, I mean, I can think of a couple of agencies off the top of my hand, head where this is the case. I know one guy in the Southeast, he's got a great team of agents, makes about, his, his agency does about half to three quarters of a million in production. Again, he's only got like a do six, half dozen doing anything. So that's a lot of production per capita. And he pays for all their leads. He doesn't like it, but the truth is is that he's given these guys the option to move up to the ability to sell and control their leads and then even get a higher commission, but they won't take it because they're comfortable with the idea of working just enough to make the money they need in order to hit their quota so that the uh, agency owner is making a profit and is covering his costs. So it's there's a lot of agents that just won't do well 
having to handle the money. Because it's not just handling the money, it's also handling the uh, where are the leads going to show up, what area of the country or the state are they going to be in, what type of leads should I buy. There's a lot more responsibility and decision making that, again, the more options some people have, just the worse they perform. So again, this goes back to the whole strategy of agency finance, which I believe is the best strategy for most of you guys out there. Um, and and uh, you know, as far as giving you the best opportunity to recruit. Thanks for watching my video on building your own insurance agency. And before you go, I want to stress, if you are interested in building an agency, you have got to find the right setup to give you the opportunity to build the agency in your brand to make it your own and to maximize the opportunity out of your hard work. What I've discovered as an agency owner since 2013 is that many of the agents out there who aspire to build an agency, doesn't matter what product it is, partner with the wrong companies. They partner with companies that steal their downlines, that terminate them to eliminate them from their downlines and ultimately build the brand of the company or the agency and not their own brand. What I teach agents is how to brand their own agency in their name to give them the opportunity to maximize their commissions, whatever kind of products they're selling, and to ultimately create a real business that actually gets results. I'm sick and tired of all these corporations out here who are involved in the insurance business screw so many good-hearted agents over with quote-unquote agency opportunities. So this whole rant, is just for me to explain to you that now I have a program. If you are interested in doing some sort of agency building, but you want to make sure you join the right agency, you want to make sure you get the training from A to Z, from recruiting, from training, from coaching agents, to building and scaling and having lead generation, you think that's important to know and you know you need it, my program is for you. So if you want to learn more about how I help agents become successful and independent agency owners, here's what you need to do. Go to daviddufour.com, click join Dave's agency and you'll see a little link in the bottom that says something about uh, check out my agency program. And there you'll find all sorts of information that will describe how it works and give you an idea of uh, the details and to determine if it's right for you. So check that out if this is something you're serious about doing. And you guys have a good day and thanks for watching. See ya.